welcome back my friends to another video it's actually kind of easy to shift gears with one hand welcome so today we are doing a lot of few things on the mini uh, first things first we are headed to B and Q because I need some little bits I'm gonna do a whole bunch of things today but mostly focusing on the mini I feel like the mini needs a little bit more love there's something I spotted while searching on the interwebs and I want to share what we're about to do with you here. The reason I really like this car so much, let me just demonstrate. back my friends to the unit this it's been a little bit since we actually made a video here the last video you saw with the evo was actually a while ago uh, i've filmed a couple of bits they're basically all out of order it's all mishmashy all over the place but we've done a few things for the unit some new changes some new bits to install to cars still haven't got around to doing the skyline bits but today is focusing on the mini cooper so mini i've had it for god how long have i had it now i've had it for a while uh, basically i bought this car as meadow's first car uh, in the uk she's already driven in the us but i bought it for her because i thought it's sporty it's cool it's a mini john cooper works opposed to just getting a normal one here it is in its miami blue glory which yes is actually a porsche color it's a very special limited one but there's a few things we want to do to it. There's a few things we want to change about it. This car, I love it to bits, and uh, you've you've definitely seen why. So why do I want to improve it? Why do I want to change? So first things first, we have had this for a while. This exhaust piece. Now it came, uh, it was missized. It's perfect, like tips wise, but the actual end of it uh, didn't really fit very well. So what I've waited to do is to weld it on. Um, I've got a welder now. I have got the wrong extension piece. I bought it and it was the wrong size. Live and learn. <laughs> I'm learning the sizes of exhaust pipes myself. This is a little bit too big. Welder has been purchased. It's just a simple gasless slash gas one. And I've done some practicing and I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, to the point of this video here, uh, Meadow's gone away. We actually already have started the process of this. So the Mini GP, I adore it. I think it's a fantastic looking car. I do very much want one. I think, again, they're very limited. You can't just, I think you can now buy them, but they're very limited. And there's a couple of things with it. The new power, great. The new sound, sounds exactly the same. I have no issues with the car other than I kind of like having back seats. The deal breaker was that there's no manual transmission. Now, for me, a hot hatch has to have manual. It's it just, uh, it doesn't make sense. We already began the process. You can see we did the back end. Me and Meadow tackled it together. Uh, I did make a whole dedicated video about this, but I didn't. It came across as more of a tutorial. We ain't no tutorials. We're here messing around with cars, having a fun time. So uh, what we're going to do today is put on the new front end. So this, this. <laughs> so practically, if you didn't know, there's a few different versions of the Mini. There's the normal one, then there's the S and there's the JCW, and then there's the GPG. J the JCW, the John Cooper Works, is what we have, which is basically was the best until the GP came around. And the only thing I really like is the front end. I mean, I don't really like the arches that much. Basically, in here we have, I mean, it might take a while. <laughs> the new GP front end. I saw these going on eBay. I had to get one because they look so much nicer than the normal one. That's the main difference between these and the GPs. Of course, there's some new spats and the sills and a few little plastic, but practically there's not much difference. It's still an F56. Now, if you didn't know, I'm not really keen on the idea of putting GP badges and stuff. Hence, there is no GP badge. There's this area for it. We're going to keep John, John Cooper work badges. We're just changing the grill because it's updated. It looks nicer and it's probably the last we're going to get for the F56. So I think it's a good idea. It's a beautiful color. The red, I'm happy. Let's get it.
We got two new shelves, two new shelves, hey. So I'm actually now going to put them up and I'm gonna actually organize a little bit and then we'll be ready to put the mini on the ramp. Oh, by the way, I bought a ramp. Yeah, that was another thing that we did since the last video. I, we've got a lot of catching up to do, me and you. We're good to go. I only took most of the day. Um, and the air conditioning is dripping. It was on for like five seconds. I'm dripping on my floor mats. Right, let's figure out how to get this bumper off. Okay, so I wouldn't say the least amount of bolts and clips in a bumper I've had, uh, but it's super easy. For, to give you the rundown, it's basically popping off this trim, which is super easy on these cars and there's a bolts all along and there's torque screws all along here. Uh, T30 is what you're after. And once you've got all those out, there's underneath the sides and the top. It, it, it's pretty straightforward as, as you would imagine. Let's get it off. So the reason I've taken this off is I probably could have avoided it, but it's also probably easier to, to do it this way, so. It's the first time I've actually seen without a front on it. What are you? So <laughs> I've actually found a bird in here. I do wonder how long it's been in here. So it was used. We didn't, it's okay. So uh, apparently doing the next step to take the grill out, super easy. I think there's just clips along here. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that that was easy because uh, so we have the top of the grill off and that took longer than taking the whole bumper off and probably getting here. We've next got to take off this centerpiece here. <sighs> Come on. Stop in for a two minute break. That second bit was actually much easier. <laughs> uh, if you look, the grill is now off. This is what it looks like without. I've lined it up. It does look like this is gonna fit. If everything will fit, we'll have to find out. I'm also going to need a better plate mount. I think just double-sided tape it for now. We have just found out what clips I've broken. Probably the clips you'd least want to break. Um, <laughs> You can probably see right there, which is the whole damn bumper. Oh, well, well, so what I had to do, uh, these parts are clearly different on the GP. So I've just shaved a hole in one of the grooves and it actually lines up perfectly. I just need to clean it up a little bit, but same on this side, not test visit it yet. It's very rare that you see actual sweat on my face. Anyway, the front grill is officially on. Unfortunately, that's not everything I'm gonna do today. I've still got some other bits to do. Oh, it looks so good. So much better than the standard JCW. Now, another thing, these vents at the side and the spats are also gonna be replaced and then back on to the car. And then we should be finito. Every bit of plastic required currently is on the car. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if they've sent me the wrong piece or what, but I spent ages getting this side up because it was the first sign I did. And unfortunately, the new piece, well, is exactly the same as the old one. It's blocked off, which is kind of frustrating because I bought to try and open them up even though it absolutely, it just goes literally nowhere. It just looks much cooler. So I'm not gonna put the new one on. I'm probably gonna return it. I'm gonna see if that is the case or if, if it's a mistake, because either way I can return it or I can cut it and try and make it perfect. She's mostly done. We just need to get the bumper back on the car after we've tied all the little bits back up on it over here and we're done. <laughs> 
Oh, pretty cool. So there are some discrepancies, if you will. A, a lot of the bolt patterns are basically the same because it's the same piece. They didn't really make the uh, new car. It's, it's the same. Anyway, so the discrepancy is along the top, the clips for the actual uh, bumper, uh, the grille, should I say, actually are different on the older model. So as you can see here, it's kind of supposed to bolt up here. This isn't exactly right because <clears throat> this is the old grill. It has tabs to connect into this. This this will not. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do, uh, for, for now I've got a solution, but when it comes to it, I think what I'm gonna do is basically chop this up and fit it. And so it fits perfectly. And uh, I've currently got the side bolts in and there's bolts under the bottom so I'm just gonna zip tie this because quite frankly that's all it's gonna need. I was hoping it would be a straight swap but what would be the fun in that? Honestly the zip tie method might actually just hold up as is. <laughs> it works pretty well. I need to trim them still but everything else is done. So the only thing there was like some kind of sensor a part of the wiring loom. I don't know exactly what it was. There was supposed to go in the bumper I kind of left it hanging, so there's that. But I also need to try and get this side sorted as well. But that will be all done with time. So I think without further ado, let's get this thing down, finished, sorted, off of the lift. And uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much there. So there are some other bits that are very different about the GP, but I'll get into that with time. Mostly done. We just need to put a badge on it to let people know that it's still a John Cooper Works. No GP badges. We do need a new name for it. What would we call it? Like the JP? GPJ? JPG? And of course, yes, yes, the exhaust needs to be done. As I said, it's gonna be done. Just takes time. The badges we've got are like blacked out ones. I think they're called. Uh, the, the person that makes them is called like Kill or Chrome, but also known as Mini Bits. And there she is. Make sure to let me know what you think. Of course, the Mini GP doesn't exactly uh, just have the spats and stuff. It does have a extended front bumper. Uh, the parts here is completely different, but this is basically all I could find on the market right now. Uh, most of this stuff is JCW stuff that they, we didn't have, but also this GP grill is the pretty much the only GP bit. So I was actually looking for a wing. So if anyone is uh, doing a wing, please <laughs> let us know. But we're pretty close to having this thing ready for some new wheels, because what are those? I don't like having my plate in the window. It's just a bit silly, but until I get a different size plate, it'll do. Also, it really needs a wash. You'll notice there's a sticker on it. It's a sticker. I tried to get the sticker off. It needs a clean, but for now, she ready. And here's your front plate. My front plate, why do you have my front plate? Because um, I you haven't have put done, it on yet. You have done something. What did you, did you put the, did you put the grill on? You put it on. Is that what you were doing yesterday? Yep. I really like it. What do you think? I like do it. Do you like it? I really like it. I just haven't put the plate on yet. <laughs> it's kind of cool without the plate. I know. <laughs> Predictive. Oh my gosh, I love it. So we actually drove with it, the car like that for a good, how long was it? I think 15 minutes and she had no idea. But anyway, that is done. The grill, the front spats, the rear, it's all done on the Mini. It's looking a little bit more like a GP. We need the wing. But other than that, that's the only bits I want in a GP. Everything else can go in the bin. Not anyway. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think. I think we're probably one of the first to do this. It's pretty much a straight swap, pretty straightforward. I said I don't want to make it a tutorial as such, but 
if you if you watch other videos on how to swap grills and stuff, it's pretty straightforward other than the zip tie bit at the end, which you could probably do a better fix than that. Anyway, um, that's not the end. Of course, we're still going to need to weld the exhaust, get some wheels and a few other bits for the Mini. But other than that, we're going to be moving on to doing other cars because we've got so many other little bits to do. So if you uh, want to keep up to date that, with that, smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.